So what exactly is Max for Life? Max for Life is a collaborative effort between Ableton and Cycling74 to bring the Max application into Live. What used to be a separate standalone application can now be used inside of Live. So what is Max then? People have used the term visual programming language. Now the term programming has turned off quite a few musicians. So let's look at this from the perspective of a musician. Think about this scenario. An electric guitar player hooking up the guitar to a string of guitar effects processors, one after the other, like a distortion unit, tremolo, delay, and a wah-wah pedal. After that, the signal is connected to an amplifier to further shape the tone of the guitar, and finally it is projected out the speakers in a stack like this one. So this would be how the signal from the guitar is processed and output to the speakers. Max is very similar to this, where you have a variety of different objects and you would interconnect them to create something. You could create a guitar processor or anything else. Max is kind of open-ended like that. Now in the guitar signal example, you could move around objects in the signal chain, which would lead to a variation in the resulting guitar tone. You could even swap out specific objects to further modify the resulting tone. But there are some things that you can't do, like this. If you know a thing or two about electric guitars, you will know that you can't connect the output of a guitar processor to a guitar, or you can't connect a guitar directly to speakers. Similarly, there are objects in Max that interconnect in a very specific way, and if done otherwise, will lead to the program just not working, or in extreme cases, may even lead to producing extremely loud sounds that could damage your speakers, which could lead to damaging your hearing, and you obviously do not want that. So to understand Max, you will have to learn about objects in Max and how to connect them up with other objects. Now there are a huge variety of objects that will make it impossible for us to cover in a couple of hours, so we will stick to some of the essential ones. After spending some time with some of the basic objects, you will develop a better understanding of the whole visual programming language workflow, and eventually you will be able to incorporate other advanced objects into your programs. Now in the next few tutorials, we will go over some of the basics of Max in terms of signal flow, object types, their inputs and outputs, etc.